Hello, my name is Josh Silverberg, and I'm here to tell you all a little bit about something that I believe is going to become more and more important in this generation and the next. Coding. So what is it? Coding is the way that you can communicate with the computer. It's when you write code into the computer that they can actually understand and do something with, like give a desired output or process it or put into storage or something. It's necessary in every single piece of technology, from your watch to your phone to your computer. They all have to be coded to actually be able to do what they do. And then, contrary to common belief, it's actually not that hard. It's just like writing an email to a very grammatically correct friend. <laughs> so, as there are lots of languages that exist to code in, uh, and I couldn't tell you all of them, of course, um, here are some of the most popular languages used today. So there we have C. C, you all have C in your pockets right now. It's the language that's used to program operating systems and uh, for your computer or your phone and to make larger uh, games. There's also HTML, which is used to program web pages. JavaScript is used to make those web pages interactive and to make browser games. Without JavaScript, the web would just be a bunch of static words. C++ is technically kind of just an add-on to C, but it's classified as its own language because it can be coded in a slightly different way. Swift is the language that's used to program iOS apps. Uh, and Python is a relatively simple language, which has gained popularity because of that. So what I have done with coding, when I started, I used this uh, language up there in the top left. Yeah. Um, it's called processing. It's uh, it's kind of a sub, it's kind of a sub dialect of Java, and it's perfect for what I like to do with coding, which is making games and interactive pictures and stuff. So here's one of my very 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 early works. It's where you control that little green circle and move it around the screen to draw. The code might look kind of complicated, but it actually isn't. Most of it is just to see which button was pressed. So here's another, here's another one of my early games. It's kind of a dungeon escape kind of game uh, with a lot more parts turning in the background. As you can see, the code is significantly more complicated. So what is this value, you might be asking? So why code? Well, it's very cool and practical and extremely important skill to learn because, well, you know, most of the billionaires nowadays are coders and, have, and are that because, you know, they learn to code at a young age. Um, it's necessary uh, with, with this constantly evolving technology, there's never like a lack of a need of programmers. And uh, there's this theory that with this technology evolving at such a high pace, everything's going to be smart and everything's going to be connected in some way. People who know how to code and use this, um, this network to its full possibilities will have a huge advantage. So, so if this talk has, had, has, has inspired anyone here, here are some ways to get into coding. So many schools offer classes to code where yeah, they teach you some programming language. There are also lots and lots of websites and apps out there that give you these interactive tutorials for coding. There are also lots of camps and clubs organized by individual groups and people that basically yeah, they give you a step-by-step, -step, very nice and easy guided, um, guided intro to, uh, tech to coding, or possibly even more. Um, and if you happen to know some coder, you can communicate with them and talk to them, and I'm sure they'd be very happy to, uh, to teach you. And just like with everything else, the sooner you start, the further you can get and the more successful you can become. Thank you.